Okay, this is 102.5 KDNA FM with your host, DJ Tosh, and his co host, Dr. Chill. Alright, today we're gonna have a special show for you guys, because we're gonna talk about the origins of philosophy. Alright, so, Dr. Chill, so how's your day? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, alright. If a bear in California and one in Alaska fall into water, which one would dissolve first? How am I supposed to know? Well, the bear in Alaska because it's polar. Okay, let's go. Let's go back on topic. So, do you guys know what philosophy is? Do you know what philosophy is, Doctor Chill? Of course I know. But the, the question is, does the audience know? Well, let's, let's just help them out. Philosophy is the rational investigation of the truths and principles of being, knowledge, or conduct. So, Dr. Chu, do you know where philosophy originated from? Of course I know. It, it originated from the Greeks. You know why? Because they were the first ones to develop a new way of thinking. Whoa, no way, the Greeks? Yes, the Greeks. And do you know why, then? Well, no, I don't why. Why didn't you tell the audience, Joe? Well, it was because the Kingdom of Lydia conducted trade with the Greeks, and since uh, the Kingdom of Lydia was the first one to uh, coin uh, precious metals, the wealth in the Greek cities rose too. So that's why they had a new way of thinking, because they had money to fund it. Oh, I see. I, I bet that's how they made their salad too. <laughs> So, DJ Tosh, do you know any philosophers? Yo, heck yeah I do. Last time I talked to my home dog Socrates downtown, man, yo. He's the, he's the first philosopher, yo. Well, the audience doesn't know, so can you call him up for me? Heck yeah I can. Alright, hold on. Yo, Socrates, can we, can we talk with you later, man? No, man, I'm in the shower. Wait, okay, fine. Uh, well, I'll call you back later then. Alright, okay, while we wait for Socrates to finish the shower, we're gonna take a commercial break. Oh yeah! So, Jerome, do you know what, where do philosophers eat after they get tired from thinking? No, where do they eat at? Well, they, they eat at in and out in and out in and out that's what it's all about. So, can you tell me why Philosophers eat at in and out Well, they all come there to meet up and convey their, their knowledge and philosophies about anything. Because it's like their forum, you know. Okay, this is DJ Tosh, and I'm downtown here with my with my pal, Socrates. Okay, I'm going to ask him a question, yo. So, so Socrates, how are you? Man, I'm fine. Alright, so Socrates, what is your philosophy, yo? Well, my philosophy is that every man knows something common and enjoys universally, and it is necessary to form true understanding of knowledge. Knowledge should be well enough established to serve as the foundation of science. True science is universal, and it is common to all men and at all times. True science consists in understanding through concepts, which have the same universal characteristics as science itself. Uh, what you're talking about, Willis? Well, if you want to know my philosophy, go talk to that homie, Plato. Alright, okay, um, let's go Let's go next door to meet up with Plato again. Yo, Plato! Plato! Yo, Plato, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What you want? Yo, so, Plato, what exactly is your philosophy off of Socrates? Well, I divide human beings based on their intimate intelligence, strength, and courage. Those who are not overly bright or strong or brave are suited to various productive professions which include farming, smithing, and building. But those who are somewhat bright, strong, and have some courage are suited to defensive and policing professions. And, and finally, those who are extra extraordinarily br intelligent, virtuous, brave are suited to run the state and country. Which means that that is my ideal idea of an aristocracy. Wow, yo, that's so interesting. Now my G G dogs and listening to this are now no more about philosophy. Thanks, Plato. Okay, this is DJ Tosh in the studio, and now we're gonna have a caller have a chance to win a special prize. So, Doctor Chill, what question do they have to answer to win the special prize? Well, the question is. 
how is philosophy still applied to the modern age? Okay, now, let's wait for this caller. Oh, yeah, we just call it. Um, it's Brit. Uh, her name is Brittany. So, hey Brittany, how, uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, DJ Tosh. How are you, Dr. Chill? I'm good. Uh, oh, cool. That's very cool. Okay, Brittany, do you know the answer to the question? Well, although I am a blonde, I'll try my best to answer this question. Uh, is it that the Cold War event similarly resembles the philosophies of Plato? The U.S. resembles the Greeks, and the Soviet Union resembles Florida. The U.S. was a dem democratic nation that puts more emphasis on thinking than a unifying group. The Soviet Union puts its emphasis on a uniform nation, much like the Spartans. So, is that right? Whoa. Whoa. Is that right, Dr. Chill? She's right. Whoa, no way. Brittany, you have just won. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, Jay! Oh my god, thank you guys! Oh my god, that's so awesome! Oh my god, thank you guys! Okay, oh my god, okay! Okay, Brittany, you just won! Oh my god! Oh my god! The philosophy game, where you can have 100 hours of fun going around in circles, playing as Socrates, Plato, and other philosophers. You go around in circles for 100 hours with your friends and family, trying to discover new philosophies, and applying it to modern life, and hopefully making a better nation. Please drink responsibly, and please be 18 over to play. If you, if you suffer from nausea, headaches, chronic diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, burning diarrhea, um, birth defects, and pregnancy, please call your physician. Some assembly is required. Batteries not included. Okay, I hope Brittany enjoyed that, but, well, okay, that, that's it for our show and this program. This was The Real Slim Shady and Dr. Dre. And we'll see you guys later. Bow, 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 bow.